hi guys how are you guys doing so i want to tell you guys what the lord showed me last night and we are in a very blessed but sensitive season and what i mean by blessed is there are people that are literally walking into their breakthroughs okay but you have to also remember something and i know you guys are tired of hearing about warfare and all these things Whenever you're close to walking into a breakthrough, walking into a new chapter of your life, whether it be your marriage, whether it be your relationship, whether it be your new career, whether it be your new place, your new home, moving, whatever breakthrough God has in store for you, you have to understand that there's always going to be a final attempt or another attempt from the enemy to deter you away from receiving this blessing, okay? distractions um witchcraft whatever they do <clears throat> as someone that struggled with this my whole life trust me every time i was close to a blessing something would happen and i never understood why this always took place until god revealed to me that it was the witchcraft that was being done to me as to why i was not really able to get my hands on certain things and once i accepted that and received the knowledge and prayed rebuke and fasted against it and i did not allow the fear of knowing this stop me from receiving knowledge i was able to fight against it with prayer and fasting and i was able to receive some of the things not all but some of the things that god has in store for me so i'm here to you know let you know that it's important not to be ignorant of the of this okay so the lord actually showed me something very strongly in the spirit last night pertaining to a cursed gift somebody whoever you are i don't know if this is a family member or a friend in the dream it was a friend that gave it to you okay but just because it was a friend that gave it to you in the dream does not mean that it's a friend in the physical it could be a family, it can be a stranger. But the Lord showed me that there was someone that moved into a new home, okay? And as they were taking things out of their boxes and rearranging the home, there was this like cabinet, <clears throat> excuse me, there was this cabinet that had ornaments in it, that had like, you're, you're, the, kind of per you're the kind of person, you like to collect things, like collectibles. You have collectibles, okay? And somebody gave you some sort of like clear, it's like a clear kind of ornament and it has like, it's like a clear crystal ornament. And I'm not talking about like a crystal as in like on the ground, like a crystal or rock or something. No, I'm talking about like, you know those little ornaments that you get like at Pandora, Pandora, Pandora box, you know, the store Pandora, how they have those like clear crystal looking ornaments. And then inside of it, there's like a picture or inside of it, there's like something with like glitter inside of it or sparkles inside of it. Somebody brought you a gift from like a store like that. Like, I don't know if it's from Pandora, but it's like a store that has things like this. I'm not talking about crystals as in like rubies and, you know, stones. No, I'm talking about like the plastic creation type of crystals or the glass that is like cut up to look like a crystal but it has like a picture in it it has some type of like collectible inside of it right somebody brought it to you as a gift because you wanted to add something to your collection the person that brought it to you brought you something that is cursed in the prophetic dream I saw there was a cabinet and you're putting stuff on the cabinet and this woman came to you and she's like, here, I have this gift for you. And you're like, thank you so much. And it was a homewarming gift. You're like, thank you for this homewarming gift. You took it and you put it on the shelf. The woman smiled in your face, gave you a hug, congratulated you. And then after she did this, she left. Now me standing there and watching this whole thing go down, I'm like, something's up something is up with that gift and the holy spirit told me to walk up towards the gift and to look at it very closely as i walked up to the gift i looked at it and i noticed that there was something inside of it a black a little black thing that the naked eye could not see but because i have spiritual eyes and i can see in the spirit i noticed the black thing but you couldn't see it so basically what that was indicating and that was showing me was that the type of the type of gift that you have only a person with spiritual eyes like who's gifted to see like a seer 
can see what's behind what's given to you okay so as I was looking at it I tried to tell you I'm like this is a cursed gift and you're like how I don't see anything wrong with it and I'm like watch this I'm like I rebuke you in the name of Jesus I cast you out her house in the name of Jesus get out her house in the name of Jesus I rebuke you get out her house in the name of Jesus I promise you as I was saying this a demon came out of that that ornament it came out of it and it tried to hide behind the cabinet it was so scared that I called it out it tried to hide behind the cabinet but as I saw it I got scared. I'm not gonna lie I got a little bit shook I started backing away from the cabinet and I started saying in the name of Jesus I rebuke you get out of her house I cast you out of her house in the name of Jesus you don't, you are not welcome here I cast you out in the name of Jesus get out of her house in the name of Jesus and the demon literally left the house and you got so scared you couldn't believe that that little ornament that was given to you had a big demon like had a demon that size in it because when a demon came out of it it was big it was tall big it looked like a giant okay and it had this big horn on its on the on like the head here like a big horn and you couldn't believe it and it left your house it left your house and then um <clears throat> I remember you saying something to me about like because you you got scared and you ran so when I went to go get you, you you backed up and you ran and when I went to get you you were saying something like you were scared to come back into that kitchen dining room area where the cabinet was um, and I kept trying to tell you don't worry it's gone look it's gone and it was gone so it left your house right it left your house so as I was waking up out the dream, the Lord said message. So I knew right away that this is a word for someone. So here's the thing. It doesn't mean that you moved into a new place. Okay. Moving in is a representation of new beginnings. It could be you just moved into a new place or you're going to move. But moving into a new place in a dream can represent new beginnings. It could be a new beginning in a relationship, new beginning at a job, new beginning in general, as in like a new door is about to open for you, a new chapter of your life. God is about to bless you. But the person that um, that is basically evil eyeing you, the person that is that knows that you are about to be blessed. It's like they're they they're gonna try to come and they're gonna try to they're gonna try to give you something, and what they're gonna try to give you is cursed. Okay, it's, they're gonna try to give you something. Be careful who you're eating from. Be careful who you're accepting gifts from. Okay, like just be very careful because people tend to do these things when you literally either just enter a new chapter of your life, something just something good just happened to you. Or they try to give it to you right before it happens, right? And the reason why is because when they give it to you before it happens, they're trying to prevent it from happening. They want you to get sick or they want something bad to happen that prevents you from getting married or prevents you from moving or prevents you from getting that job. If you already got the job or you already moved or you already got married, they give it to you right after so it can cause problems in your relationship or cause problems in your home, cause problems at your job. So then the blessings don't last that's what they're trying to do right so i'm here to let you know do not accept any be careful who you're accepting things from i'm not gonna say do not accept any gift that's kind of ignorant for me to say that um you know my my goal is just to tell you what's going on to let you know just be careful who you accept things from and to pray over everything that you receive okay um, because I'm telling you right now, when you have the gift that you had, you couldn't see it, but I could see it. You did not see it until I, I, I called it out and it came out of it. So I want to give you this confirmation. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.